Thankfully, that young girl was rushed to this hospital and is recovering. Hey everyone, it's Lauren Baker with Time Saver Traffic and I have great news for you. Gas prices are down in our area. So News 10 and I will be hitting the roads this morning to check out commutes, road conditions, all that jazz. This snow is really coming down on this road and it's making the road very slippery. David and I'm out here at Grand River and as you can see, the water has continued to rise. Reports are showing that people are buying cars and trucks at a high rate. People are tired of coming to this area because they're tired of the noise and want the project to be over. Hey everyone, it's Lauren Baker with Time Saver Traffic and today we're checking out the streets that are driving you crazy. Stinks, you know, it's not very homely feeling, shall I say. Every year, naughty people are supposed to get a clump of coal for being bad, but this year, they may be getting your packages. I'm pretty sure they were following the, the truck and just kind of waiting for him to drop off the package and find the perfect <laughs> opportunity and my house happened to be the perfect opportunity and perfect getaway route. Porch pirates have made their landing this holiday and they're stealing any buoy, treasure, or online purchases that are sitting at your front door. Grinches, terrible. And with over 900 million packages being delivered this year, the porch pirates have a lot of goodies to choose from. So what should you do? The answer, it's pretty simple. Plan ahead for the delivery of your packages. That includes having your packages delivered to your post office, telling your neighbor to grab your package, or even <laughs> selecting special shipping requirements, like needing a signature to complete a carrier's order. And for those who are tech savvy, you can use new home technology like Ring, a doorbell that allows you to see and talk to anyone that comes to your front door helping you defend your packages from those holiday snatchers. Lauren Baker, News 10. It's just, it's just a tragedy. Nobody wanted this to happen. We all come there to just have a good time. Tommy Warren and hundreds of others were at a field party in Grass Lake Township when a fight broke out. That fight led to the fatal stabbing of an 18-year-old. Warren said the stabbing has sent shockwaves through his community. Grass Lake is like this little tight-knit community and nothing like this really happened, so it is a big shock. A woman who wanted to remain anonymous told News 10 she saw the victim after he was stabbed, a visual picture that has left a mark in her memory. I mean, when you see something like that and you see all that gore, it's definitely not going to make you want to go to another one of those parties. The Project X theme party was thrown by well-known rapper B. Pat. Mayhem followed the stabbing, causing hundreds to flee all at once. Almost 500 cars trying to get out at the same time. There's people almost getting hit by cars. It was. It was chaos. Warren says that there was security at the party, but they were outnumbered by the large group. A night of fun meant for hundreds has turned into a lifetime of hurt for just one family. We are truly sorry for their loss. Warren Baker, News 10.